Hi there. I'm going to do a tutorial for Lunar Magic on how to make a warp pipe because it's actually pretty confusing to do. So yeah. One sec. First I got to do something. Okay. Okay, now open Lunar Magic, and then open your ROM. First I gotta find it. Hopefully sometime today. Here we are. <clears throat> so I'm gonna show you how to make a warp pipe. And also, um, in this tutorial, I'll show you palette editing. So first, I just gotta quickly clear up this area. Just edit it a little bit, shouldn't take long. One sec. There we go. So now, let's make a warp pipe. <clears throat> Usually you use the vertical pipe end on top one. This time let's use with exit enabled. Put it anywhere you want. I'm gonna put mine right here. Usually when you put one here and don't give it a destination, it puts you in level zero, which is the bonus level, and it will never end. So don't ever do that, ever. So now, let's save, and let's go here. I want this to be the secret area. First, I'm going to make vertical scroll at will. Save. Now I'm going to make a little secret area above. That will also take one second. Do 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 do. <sighs> Wait, that's an exit enabled one. Sorry about that. So then make the pipe. And this is going to be the pipe Mario comes out of. I'm just going to put some coins here. And maybe a Yoshi coin as well. I'm just going to put that one up here. There. Um, so, I don't... There's no way for Mario to come out of this pipe right now. Which is not good. So what you need to do is make a secondary entrance. So click door number two. It has a little two there. Open it. And you'll see this. Modify secondary entrances um, window. Open this. It's just a huge list of numbers. Um, doesn't matter which one you use as long as it doesn't have one of these two level whatever. Use a blank one. One is blank. And that'll name this entrance one. And level, destination level number. We're in level 106. You can see that up here. 106. Screen number of entrance should be zero. And we'll deal with this later. And this is Mario's action. Um, we want him to be coming out of a pipe, so vertical pipe exit down. And here it is. So let's open this. 
And now let's edit his position. I'm not very good at this, just so you're aware. Uh, one more over. There. So now we have our secondary entrance. This area is set up completely. So let's go back. Now click the blue um, POW door. And now you'll see screen boundaries only this time in blue. Um, so open door 1. Not this one, this one. This is a little add modify delete screen exit door. Our pipe is in screen 1. Click 1. And here you type the l name of a level. We want Mario to go to level 106, so type 106. But there's a problem with this. A big problem. If I click OK, then Mario is going to um, start lev um, level 106 like normal. He'll appear on the ground just like you usually would any time you start that level. Um, I want him to be coming out of a secondary entrance, and do you remember what that was? It was 1. So there we go. But I typed 1, and again, this I typed the name of a level here. This will put him in level 1. Um, to make this number here a secondary entrance number, click this. If it's a water level, click this, but it's not a water level, so don't. Okay? And if it works fine, then this should... Um, turn bright blue So that worked So now let's open this in the emulator and try it out and So you're aware this recording program. I'm using um, Does not for some reason work with full screen games, so it's gonna look um, Black but the emulator here isn't in full screen right now, so it shouldn't be black one sec. First, I gotta do this. I just need a fast forward button because, um, just because. So let's open it. For some reason, it's extremely slow. Oh boy, is it slow. I don't know why it's doing that. That's a problem. Well, I'll deal with that on my own time. Hopefully it doesn't stay like that. That's very strange. Anyway, let's try the pipe. And it worked! So that's how you do that. I honestly don't know why it's in slow motion. That's a huge problem. Uh, one sec, I just want to test this one, hoping it's not in slow motion. Why did you load... Uh, okay. Watch. I don't know, it's glitched. So, that's that. So now I'll show you, um, palette editing. Sorry if I'm a little slow, I'm just curious as to why my emulator is acting like that just more problems with for me to deal with I've had enough problems for one day because I've been going through a lot of problems with my crappy computer yesterday so I guess I have more to deal with so anyway st the star up here the rainbow one opens up this which is the palette editor window here this is every single color in Super Mario World the ones we're going to worry about are these ones, these ones, these ones, and I guess these ones and these ones. So, let's edit the foreground. Click this, and add a color, and then this one. Uh, how about blue, just for something weird looking. And then this. 
And then to make the colors look right, hold Alt and right click, right click. And now you notice the ones down here completely changed. That's a good thing. So now let's change the background. Click, 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 click. Boop, boop. There. Uh, now whatever. Um, the colors here edit the background. These are the foreground. These are anything green, and this is water usually. So there. There is a problem though. So I edited the colors in this level. It changed the colors in this level too. I have no idea why. I'll show you. However, I'm gonna change these. So now, see, it's completely blue. Now this is completely blue, that's a problem. I'll show you why. Um, this enable custom palette for this level button is not checked. Um, if it is not checked and you edit any colors and then click the save button up here, it'll change those colors for the entire game. That's un that's not a good thing. But how however, up here, if you scroll through these, there are seven different colors. These are uh, um default colors. I guess you could call them that. Um if you change number one, which I'm about to do now, then watch. There, now it's gray. Cancel. And now this one's still blue. And if I change this to number one, now it's gray as well. Let's keep this at number one. So now let's try this. Now edit these. Edit them or I'll kill you. Nah, that does not look good. And now they're different. And this one is still using the same as the other one, palette color. So, um, always be very careful with palette editing or you could screw everything up. And that's the whole tutorial. So have fun with that. And now I have to deal with my shitty emulator. So I'm going to have fun with that.